Three adults from Struthers will be returning to court in about six weeks for sentencing for an incident late last summer that left a teenager with burn scars. Prosecutors say the weapon was a metal can that had been heated with a lighter. Reporter Jerry Ricciuti first brought us this story last September and was in court today for the latest. In effect, that these adults should have known better. Seven months after they were arrested, Lori Lydon, Brian Pridgma, and Ron Byer all stood in court with their lawyers this afternoon. Prosecutors say the three, all from Struthers, were drinking in Pridgma's garage late last summer when they tried to convince 17 year old Derek Reber to eat cherries soaked in moonshine. When the boy refused, authorities say the men turned on him while Lydon was capturing it all with her cell phone. There were some recordings taken of an incident that involved this juvenile being the victim of um, what can best be characterized as a branding. Authorities say Pridgma and Byer held the victim down on the ground, while a fourth suspect, Andrew Kozak of Boardman, burned the boy using a can of chewing tobacco. There was a um, skull can that was heated up and uh, branding was affixed with that heated skull can um, to, the, to the buttocks of the victim. Kosak is now in prison, but at the time, Lydon had been working as a secretary for the Mahoning County Sheriff's Department, but lost her job after being indicted. Guilty. Both Byer and Pridgma, who runs a local plumbing business in Struthers, followed with similar pleas. Guilty. Guilty. All three are due back in court later this spring for sentencing. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.